Hello, today is the 22nd of August and the year is 2011. The time is approaching 10 o'clock p.m. Central Europe time. That is 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific. Getting close to the close of the market and this trend line is obviously holding in very well. If we draw some sort of parallel line within here, it's nowhere near that of finding support as of yet, which is really strong considering it's had some uh, nice retracements along the way. And I was stating we're in this little band yesterday and, well, are we going to go parabolic? It's still definitely a possibility if it keeps around, staying within this band, then yeah, it's a decent size level. Now, what we can see by looking at the pierces on this candle, starting yesterday on the first one, we came from an area where we had one, two, three decent size moves after an uptrend was already formed. Okay, so what do we have at the uh, start of the day? We have a hit and we come back. Obviously here we come back again to this level and then we, we go down a, quite a bit creating this hammer and then we close back in here again retrace again and make that of a lower uh, or a lower excuse me we didn't go as low as what I meant to say thus creating a higher high and now again back at this level so we've had many different tests within it and this is another way you can state wasn't well, that like an inverted head and shoulders pattern because you come up then you go down like that this is a going down in here you go back to the line and then you go way down lower and then back and then you go boom and isn't that an inverted head and shoulders pattern? Yeah, well, it looks like that to me. Okay, so we see that uh, things are holding up very, very nicely within this and breaking above here, you really got to be careful because that's when the big swings can really come into play. Uh, maybe a big move up to 45.75 and then back down to uh, maybe in here again uh, as a possibility. The uh, Fibonacci from this one in here, the, uh, well, I'll show it better on the daily chart, but the big numbers I was talking about were 38 and 42. Well, well the next one's 45. That's a 76.4% Fibonacci retracement. Okay, I showed this uh, chart yesterday, but I didn't really say too much or really anything at all within it, but... I think it's best for me to go over this and say, well, we have this uh, green candle and a decent sized one after it's already retraced after coming close to hitting this upper band. And this date today is August the 22nd. That means we are a month and uh, a half, less than two out of six. So we're only 30% or even a little under 30% into this current half year period, which ends on December the 31st. We've obviously came up and hit this level once. So when we go back here again, just by looking at this chart, we know this is a repeat to a previous test from 1980, which means on a mathematical level, the odds favor that you take it out. That's even throwing all inflation factors aside. This could be a one minute chart. And I'd be saying to myself, okay, I seen how it was in a bull trend. I can see this band was showing me that. And then it corrected on a uh, two-thirds level. It consolidated at this significant level. And really, this is where it broke free, told, telling me it was going here. Okay, so now I see here that it pulls back and it's trying to head higher. I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt because the thing looks really good as far as its future potential. Well, over the last 19 hours, it has been uh, mainly just holding where we started because this is exactly pretty much where we were on the most previous update. Now, what's interesting was back in here, I stated, you know what, I want to wait. And what I'll be waiting for is either A, moves that will give nice buying opportunities with lower prices. Obviously, that didn't happen. Or B, some supreme confirmation one of the two really has to come so it's looking like the supreme confirmation and it hasn't confirmed anything yet but it is in the process of doing such a thing 